Greetings, everyone. This is First and Twenty Seven Fifty Three with the next episode of our alternative Portuguese history. We are currently engaged in a uh, war in the south against the Muslim. It's primarily a religious war. You have uh, Christians from Castile and Aragon. They haven't committed their full force, but they have troops in Morocco, and we are currently winning. But Morocco has mobilized a pretty sizable army here. I'm not sure. It's going to be kind of a concern to see what happens here. Um, I am kind of concerned. We're about to... Well, we lost the siege there. 42... Negative 42 percent. We're trying to capture this province right here. And we've got a while. 15,000 troops. Alright, now their armies are dividing. And where are you going? I'll need reinforcements to take them on. And they've laid siege. Okay. This siege will be over on July 9th. I'm hoping for reinforcements. There are some reinforcements. Not many. Okay, Naples is returned. We've got Naples, we've got Castile, and we've got Aragon. And there's another Napoleon fleet on its way. They're just blockading. Seventeen thousand. There's an 18,000 men army. That's pretty huge. Are they coming after us? 5,000? Whoa. Simultaneous attacks. That was smart. Slow this down a notch. Okay, we won the battle in the north. Hold on, pause it. Let's get some reinforcements down here in the south. We gotta break this siege again. I hate that I keep having to do that. I should probably leave like one regiment there. Alright, it's 26. We should have enough time to relieve these guys. Okay, now the battle's ours. They had some huge losses there, it looks like. Come on, let's take them. Very good. Yeah, it was about even as far as losses, but we had more men to start with. So we gained a good war score there. I'm going to leave. I'm going to separate these two. And one of them will be left in the target next time in the target province if we need to detach the main army to go after any Moroccan armies that are probing the area. In fact, we should probably go finish off these guys right away. And this soldier, they'll be with that, uh, this regiment, Suetta's 3rd Regiment, will stay with the besiegers. More reinforcements from Castile, excellent. 11 more regiments, that's what we needed. And 
send reinforcements from Aragon. Okay. these armies together. And now it looks like the siege is moving towards our advantage. This siege will be over November 12th. How are we looking now? A few things have improved. Morocco's war exhaustion is up. Their military strength is weak. Relative strength of alliances is in our favor. We might get it. We might get it. of an advantage with the battles. 19 points from battles. That's huge. Yeah, it's important to win battles. That should be obvious. Alright, December 48th. This has been about four years now. War in North Africa is well underway. We've occupied several provinces. We are laying siege to our targets. We've won several battles against the Moroccans. We've forced Granada out of the war. And Castile, Aragon, and Naples are still on our side. I could probably get these guys out. Do I need to? Not yet. Wow, the Moroccan army came back. That's going to take a while. February 10th. I don't know if they can hold out that long. Alright, more reinforcements are on the way. What is there, a mountain there? I guess so. We still have it at 35%, that siege. That's good. When are they going to get there? The 30th at the earliest. There they are. Come on, let's win another battle. February 5th and the 10th. That looks like we got him. Excellent. Another battle, another victory for the Iberians. This war seems to be going well. I think we might, our manpower is down. Like 10,000. Over 10,000. Hmm. That's okay. We're not going to be fighting many wars after uh, Morocco. Any wars we fight are going to be quick ones against smaller Native American powers. Not powers. Tribes. Let's keep this diplomat in Castile. To improve, yeah, relations are looking pretty good there. I'm not worried about that. Another province surrenders. Good. 22% war score. The key is going to be this one, the target. Once we get the target, we'll be able to increase our war score dramatically. Aragon is up diplomatically. 200. Pretty good. Pretty good. Things are looking well. Things are going well. Rebels haven't really shown much. It's 46.2 years to rebellion. Alright, let's increase the speed here. Get these sieges over with quickly. Haven't increased their navy at all. Their army is recuperating in the south. There's definitely going to be another battle before this war is over.
give me a couple battles. And let's boost the speed up a little bit more. We are definitely dominating. movement in this siege, Fez. Two days, nice, there we go, negative 7%. Alright, two separate armies moving now. A two-pronged assault, which is kind of foolish in this game. Moroccan's moving up the coast, while Mzab was moving in the interior. They're going to get creamed. I really just need to t get this uh, target province. My war exhaustion's up pretty high. Improve relations with Aragon. Alright, recall that diplomat and send the diplomat to Castile. Improve relations there. Excellent. 27% war score. And a 7% chance that they will surrender in our target province. Military leader has died. Oh no, that's our explorer. Oh, crap. Okay. Importing iron. Looks like we have a naval battle there in the coast of Morocco. Strive to keep the Portuguese military strong, modern, and domestically supported, but sometimes our priorities end up in conflict with each other. Lacking the rich iron mines of our neighbors, some of our grander plans for future devel military development will not be possible as soon as we might wish. Increasing imports is a tempting option, but relying on foreign support might compromise our trade policies, although a knife is in the back of our neighbor although a knife in the back of our neighbor would be all the more brilliantly insidious if made from their own steel. Ha <laughs> ha that's funny. Okay, we could gain two mercantilism, which is good if we rely on our own resources. Heart matters more than iron. Or we gain 60 military, and Castile's opinion of, Mar of Portugal increases by 20. I'm going with that. I like that one. Very good, especially since we just lost a military leader. Okay. 27% war score. I don't see the Moroccan army anywhere at this point. 21% they will surrender. 25 days. Hopefully by the end of November we'll have this province. We have a 29% war score. Come on, keep it going. I do not see a Moroccan army anywhere. We are gaining control over most of the country. We definitely have control over the majority of the north. The southern provinces are still independent. But we've got some blockades. And we really haven't lost much. We've profited a lot from this war. The war exhaustion is too high. Don't want to do anything about that just yet. 28%. War exhaustion. Aha! There it is. Okay, the siege is over. 59% war score. I don't think that's going to be enough to get what we want. Oh, we can. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's impressive. This is a nice victory. Morocco will cede Tang Tangiers, I can't pronounce that, <laughs> to Portugal. Morocco will transfer 50% of its trade power to Portugal, which is awesome. I don't think I want anything else out of Morocco, because at this point, I actually would prefer it if Morocco was strong, especially if they're going to be transferring trade power to us. Now the trade power is going to come out of Safi, 
But we do have um, Madeira, the island of Madeira, within the Safi trade node. So that trade power will be transferred there, and then we can just transfer, use a merchant to transfer all the rest of the trade to Seville, the Straits of Gibraltar and Sevilla, where we will collect. So this is a brilliant victory on our behalf. And that has won us a great advantage. Okay. I like it. That's a good start. We'll accept this. And... Got a lot of troops here. They can stay put for now. We're actually still making money. So I'm not going to disband any of these regiments. I'm going to keep them there for now. Let's check out our province. Unrest is pretty high. Friendly troops, reducing it by 0.4. So we're going to keep those troops, that's for sure. Um, war exhaustion is really killing us. So, should I spend some diplomatic power to reduce war exhaustion? Not yet, I don't think. Separatism, non-accepted culture, and religious unity. We have legitimacy, we have stability. We gotta make this a core, it's gonna cost 108 administrative power, but that will give us the mission, which will increase our prestige and increase our administrative power. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, let's check out the provincial unrest. Three, 4.3 years, and there will be a rebellion. Now, how much is this going down per month? doesn't really tell you. 0 0.06. Attrition. Where are we getting attrition? Is that the army? There's no attrition there. Fleet. A fleet and range of supply ships and near the coast will not take attrition. So there's no attrition there. I'm gonna dock them anyways. And actually, now's the time to pull these light ships out and re-embark on the mission to protect trade, which will improve our uh, naval tradition. These guys, we're gonna go ahead and dock there. And we're going to have to find them an explorer. So since we're looking for an explorer, I don't think I even have an explorer. I don't think I can even recruit an explorer. That stinks. I should have sent that guy on um, the mission. No, we can't even recruit an explorer. Oh, I lost it out. I should have had them explore the Ivory Coast. Oh well, we'll just have to wait. We can't colonize anyone until we get the uh, exploration ideas. Anyways, so the strategy going forward is going to be um, to unlock exploration ideas and expansion ideas and basically colonize. We've got a lot of trade. We're going to have a lot of trade coming into Seville. That's going to be locked in. We've got some strong European allies. I'm probably going to want to try to improve relations with Morocco just to sort of keep them secure. I'm not going to try to go, I'm going to try to avoid war with them since they're transferring 50% of their trade power with us. We want to make sure they keep doing that. Um, I want to keep a diplomat in uh, Rome. I might buy something. I might buy like a temple, actually, in Lisbon. That seems like a good idea. But I can't do it right now because I don't have a lot of technology. So we really need to concentrate on unlocking technology. Maybe I should hire somebody. Ooh, production efficiency, that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead and get an advisor. Yeah! Why not? At the moment, we will have the next technology in January of 54. That's five years. Yeah, I think it's time for an administrative advisor. 
Now I'm in position for that. We're gonna our trade's gonna increase too because we haven't pulled all that in. Let's go ahead and grab that guy. That'll increase production. Even. And then a month. Cassis Billy. We've lost Cassis Billy against Morocco. That's fine. And end of the month. Yeah, look at the trade transfer. Alright, we're making money. Not a lot, but we are making some. Who is that? Oh, that's our core. Okay, so going forward, uh, overall campaign goals are going to be to continue the exploration, uh, exploration south to Africa. Um, there is an achievement that I haven't got yet, haven't attained yet with uh, Portugal, which is the, it's called the, what is it called? It's called the Not-So-Bad State, which means that you have a colony in Africa and in South America. Uh, there is a five colonial nations achievement, which I'm probably going to get most of them in America. You can get one in Brazil. Venezuela, La Plata, maybe Peru, maybe the Caribbean, that's what I'm thinking. And then I also need, I'm also going to maybe try for the uh, trade company's goal, which is four trade companies, which we, I'd, I'd like to get one in the Ivory Coast. Um, I think I could probably get one in South Africa. I think there's an East African charter, and then possibly India. So that's really my objectives for the rest of this, for the rest of this game. It's mostly colonization. Of course, we're going to run into natives in the Americas, which will lead to conquest. I might want to reduce Castile's power at any chance I can get. I do want to prevent Aragon and Castile from forming Spain, because that'll be too powerful of a rival on the continent. Morocco, we want to keep in power, and we want to keep at peace with them so they continue to give us trade power. And uh, I want to avoid any other European entanglements. Of course, um... A friendship with the Pope can give some benefits. Papal influence uh, could bring in all kinds of bonuses up here, and maybe even you know take control over the career at one point. I don't know if that's necessary or not. But with all the colony, I don't know if we get bonuses for colony. There's going to be since we're doing the El Dorado patch or the El Dorado uh, DLC, there is going to be there are going to be there will be a lot of uh, missions that uh, particularly highlight colonization in uh, the Americas. So we're really just going to try to take over Spain's role as the leading uh, colonial power in Latin America. So, that's uh, everything for this episode. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the starting position. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.